Okay, Jim, welcome to Full Formless Unlimited. We just got done running your 427 Windsor engine on the dyno with the fast DFI system. Then turned out awesome. I mean, it's a really good looking engine and it makes fantastic work and horsepower also. We just go over a couple of things uh, as we do for this video here for the customers. We start out with a brand new bar block for this combination. Uh, got all the goodies in, of course, a super, super good block. I mean, you can't make 2,000 horsepower if you have to, but that block, uh, of course, gets three machines for our specifications. We've got a T sub can, uh, front sub oil can on this engine, bringing the metal oil pump inside, making the, uh, making the oil pressure for you. Uh, we've got a fully forged rotating assembly from Eagle with Miley Pistons. Uh, we've got the uh, AFR CNC ported cylinder head sitting on top. Uh, they got excellent valve springs, ARP 716s uh, studs, stainless steel fully fulcrum, uh, you know, tip and fulcrum roller rockers. Of course, we've got the hydraulic roll lifters, and we've got a custom ground camshaft that we designed for this application, ground up for us by competition cams. This engine also features a performer RPM uh, style intake manual, and of course, the heart of the system is the fast throttle body EFI and, and, the, uh, and the corresponding computer system. This engine also runs an MSD billet distributor, which of course we run on all our, our carburetor engines also. Uh, this is a uh, distributor control timing combination. So basically you set the timing in this distributor as if it was a carburetor engine. You'll see 10 degrees uh, for your checking RPM, which is between 900 and 1,000, yielding a total of 28 degrees at 3,000. So you don't need to change any of that stuff. Uh, the fast uh, EFI has been tuned up for us. It's in very, very good shape for you. Things going to run awesome. There is some fine tuning you could do down the road, but I would, I would definitely, you know, put some miles on it before you start messing with it. Uh, Steve can, you know, maybe go over some of that stuff with you in detail. And of course, you can always call, you know, fast EFI tech uh, for, for some help uh, and, and, and some of the fine tuning aspects of this, uh, of this kit. But uh, I got an awesome engine here. I can't wait for you to see the, uh, the dyno pull and the graph with the torque and horsepower. Uh, I mean, it's really, <laughs> really going to wake up that uh, that Cobra kit car. I mean, that thing is uh, that thing is going to be just incredible with this kind of power in it. Uh, got the March uh, alternate rolling kit on here, make it look really nice. Uh, like I said, just a real nice looking engine. 427 Cobra uh, racing valve covers on here. Of course, it gets the uh, the large oval uh, Cobra racing uh, valve uh, air cleaner deal, which we don't want on a dyno, just for basically because of uh, obviously all those wires and hoses and stuff in the way here. So we obviously when you get the engine, you'll have that on here. But once again, got an awesome engine for you. Um, first oil change you can do around a thousand miles. Put the Joe Gibbs or Driven HR1 oil in there. It has all really excellent properties in it additives for uh, things like the needle bearings and the rockers and, and the uh, lifters and also push rod tips, things like that. Anything, anything we have metal to metal contact, it creates a beautiful barrier there to give you many, many years of, uh, of fun and enjoyment out of this engine. Uh, once again, Jim, really appreciate your business. Uh, I would, uh, I know you guys are you know, very experienced at this, but please make sure you have your, uh, your torque converter, transmission, manual trans, whatever you're using this thing, make sure you have all that stuff under control. We don't want to jam the crankshaft forward in this thing by having, uh, like I said, an input shaft maybe, uh, you know, jammed up against the, the, the pilot pushing or, or torque converter not properly installed in the transmission. So I know you guys know what you're doing. Uh, just, uh, like I said, just, just make sure you got all that stuff under control. And of course, uh, you have a good radiator and, and, and cooling system in here to keep this bad boy running. Uh, with the thermostat in it, which is a 180, she should run for you, you know, between 190 and 200 degrees, maybe even a little bit hotter if you're, you know, in very hot weather around the country. So, once again, Jim, really appreciate your business. Thank you for choosing Cold Formula Unlimited for your custom turnkey hot rod engine. And good luck with your Cold Project.